Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and I wanted to show you how to transfer all of your data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone 16, 16 plus 16 pro or 16 pro max. I picked up the 16 pro max in black titanium. You can see the new camera capture here. So let's walk through step-by-step step how to transfer over. Now make sure you have your Apple ID and password. You may need additional passwords for things such as Gmail or other things you log into with Facebook and more, but typically many of those things will auto log in. It just depends on the app itself. Now let's go ahead and get started and you'll see here we have my home screen of my old phone and the hello screen on the new phone. If I swipe up, give it just a moment here, it will automatically pop up and say set up a new phone. If you're not seeing this, what you want to do is just lock your phone here, then go back to the, your other phone, go ahead and lock it, unlock it again, and then you can start over. We'll go in, swipe up again, Give it just a moment and it should show up here. It showed up automatically, so we'll go ahead and tap continue. Once we've tapped continue, it's going to verify with face ID or your passcode. So go ahead and enter that. Then you're going to place your phone here within the circle. It will verify and then get things ready. You'll see here, we're going to transfer everything over, including every single app, even the home screen layout and more. So we'll go ahead and tap get started. If you have children under your account, select who you're setting it up for yourself or them, then enter the passcode of your old phone on the new phone. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now it says setting up your phone. So we'll give it just a moment. And if you have a SIM card, I'll show you how to move over your eSIM, or you can just transfer your physical SIM at any time. You'll probably want to do it before you get started. But let it activate and then we'll move on to the next step. And now it's asking me to transfer my number. It's saying transfer from another iPhone or set up later in settings. You can set this up later. I'll show you how to do that if you choose to do that, but I'm going to transfer now. So we'll tap on transfer from another phone. Then it says transfer your phone number. I'll tap transfer. Then it says confirm on the other phone. I'll tap okay. Now we'll confirm on the other phone using face ID. We'll double click to confirm. It verifies, then we'll give it just a moment and it will continue the transfer. Typically this will take a few minutes depending on your carrier and you'll see it change here in the upper right. So it's actually doing the transfer now and you'll see that in just a moment. So it says activating down at the bottom, then it will switch in just a moment. Now it says connecting to network. This took about 30 seconds to show this. Now it says cellular setup is complete. You'll notice in the upper right that it's already switched over and I have one bar of service. This should change in just a moment. We'll tap continue. Now it's going to ask about data and privacy. So here on the new phone, we can tap continue or learn more. Give it just a moment here to move to the next step. Now it's asking us to set up face ID. So we'll do that. We'll set it up and basically you just want to center your face, give it a moment here. It captures you and move your head around in a circle pattern. If you've never set that up, it's pretty simple. And then you can choose to use it with a mask or don't use it with a mask or set that up later. Now it says it's complete. We'll tap continue after face ID. Now is when we transfer our data. We can download from iCloud. If we have an iCloud backup with everything backed up there, or we can transfer directly from the phone for other options, such as iTunes on a windows computer, or maybe using finder on a Mac or even Android, we can tap on that option. However, we're going to do a direct transfer as it's very simple. It transfers everything from this phone to this phone on its own. It does take a little bit longer, but there's nothing to do in between. However, if you have a fast Wi-Fi connection, you can download from iCloud, but we'll go ahead and transfer directly. It's going to now set up the account. So we'll give it just a moment here. Now we have to agree to terms and conditions. So we'll just tap agree. Then it's going to sign into my iCloud account. Now it says update your iPhone automatically. We'll say only download. We can enable location services. We'll give it a moment to set up cards on Apple Pay automatically. You may have to put in different information depending on the card type. Now it's telling us about the latest features with camera control where we can click the camera control to open the camera or click it again right after we've opened it to take a photo. We can double click it to go into settings. Then we'll tap continue. Now it's asking about Siri if I want to use that, which is a little odd as typically it already remembers those settings. We can select a voice here. If we already know, I typically use voice four. The colors of the sky. 
and then it's going to ask about your Apple beta software program. If you're currently in it, you can continue and it will install the update automatically and then actually restore the phone. Then when it comes back up, it will begin the data transfer. You don't have to erase anything anymore like you used to. It will just continue. If you don't want to continue, you'll have to use an old iCloud backup. We'll tap continue. Then it's going to let us know about emergency SOS again, continue again. And now it's actually transferring from our old device to our new device. So it's going to take a moment to transfer and it will give us an estimated time remaining in just a moment. So it could take quite a while. So now that we're waiting for it, let me go ahead and start a stopwatch just to see how long it takes to transfer everything. It's also dependent on how much data you have as well. Now it's saying about two hours. Typically this will come down in time pretty rapidly as it starts to progress, but hopefully it doesn't take that long. It says transfer is complete. It still hasn't rebooted on the new phone yet. There it goes, it rebooted and we can stop the timer at 48 minutes and 56 seconds. The phone will reboot and then it will begin installing apps. I'll show you that as soon as it comes back up. And I did plug them in as it was getting a little bit low as far as the overall battery. So we'll give it just a moment to reboot on the old phone, tap continue. Now it's going to say erase this phone and we can erase it or we can just leave it as it is. So we can erase this later on if we want. I'll tap not now, we're back to where we were. Now one thing to note is maybe you're in your, your photos app. And one thing I would highly recommend is do not delete anything in here. If you have it syncing on iCloud, anything you delete specifically in photos will delete over here. You need to turn off your iCloud settings if you want to do that. Otherwise you can just keep using your phone. And if you're using iMessage, even your texts will come across. So everything will still be in sync. You can continue to use the old phone, basically synced up to the new phone as well, or just erase it altogether. If you want to erase it, go into your settings and under your settings within general, go down to the bottom, transfer or reset, then you can fully erase it. This will not affect anything on the new phone. As far as photos, if you erase it here, as long as everything is synced and moved over, you're good to go, but you can verify that here. So we'll go ahead and unlock. It's going to restore a bunch of things in the background. And the next step is to pair our Apple watch while we're waiting for the restore. So we'll go ahead and open the Apple watch app. Give it just a moment here. Now we're waiting for everything to restore in the background. So we'll go over to the watch app. Once we're in the watch app, it's going to say finish pairing. So we'll go ahead and tap finish pairing. It says establishing connection. So it's trying to connect next to my watch here. And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it works seamlessly. So we'll try it again. Now this actually just synced on its own. Even though I tried it again, it failed a couple times. It came up and then said, do you want to unlock it with your watch? Now it's paired automatically and it's going to sync my data with the newest device. So just give it a little bit of time, have some patience and it will continue to do that. Again, it's continuing to restore everything in the background, including all of my apps that I have here as well. So we'll see how long this process takes as it installs all the apps and accounts. It's been about 29 minutes or so and all the apps installed. Now that depends on how many apps you have, how long it takes, but you'll see everything's identical. The app layout's the same, the dark mode's the same. If we go to the next page, our widgets are the same and everything, including the app library is identical. If we go into maybe music, we even have the last song we played. Photos would be restored as well, and they're both identical in every way. Also, if you forgot to transfer your eSIM during the initial setup process, you can simply do that by going into your settings and then going to cellular. So if we go to cellular here, or we can go to set up cellular, and in here we can install a cellular plan. Do that and it will walk you through the same steps I showed you earlier. Other things you may need to do though is log in. So if we go into YouTube, for example, you may need to log in. The same is true for any Gmail account and possibly Facebook, Instagram, and other accounts that require security. So those things may take a while. You don't have to erase your old phone right away. And once you do, you can just make sure everything's verified and then go into settings and erase it. So that's all you really need to do. That's how you transfer everything and hopefully that helped you out. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.